Greetings, friends in Christ. Today is the feast of St. Joseph, the worker, the spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary, the foster father of Jesus, the Savior of the Savior of the world. Joseph is an enigmatic character. In all of Scripture, he says absolutely nothing, and yet he plays a pivotal, crucial role, after which he then disappears. Not much can be known about him aside from his lineage. He is in the line of David, the kingly line, yet so far fallen from power that when he and his wife are traveling, they cannot afford a decent place to stay, but are shunted off to the, the stables where the animals are kept. Even though his wife is pregnant, he can't buy for them a better place. And when they come to make sacrifice to redeem Jesus in the temple, he cannot make the sacrifice of a proper animal. He has to go with the option set aside for the poor, two turtle doves. And so we know that he is in a kingly lineage, but a kingly lineage long since out of favor or power. And this is, I think, key to Joseph's role. The Davidic kingship was seen as the salvation of Israel, that which would rescue the Jewish people from all of the various groups that had uh, invaded them, attacked them, uh, persecuted them, surrounded as they were by Egypt down to the southwest, Assyria to the north, Babylon to the northeast. They were constantly being invaded. And then came the Greeks and after them the Romans. It was one invader after another. And the Davidic kingship was seen as that which could unite and strengthen and empower Israel to be independent and chart her own course, her own destiny. Joseph plays a key role in that liberation, but it's not at all what is expected, just like the Messiah was not at all what was expected. Joseph's role is humility. It is humble service. Having discovered that his betrothed is pregnant, which would have caused an enormous scandal, he's going to quietly set her aside when he receives the angelic vision. This child is the child of God. It's okay. Take her for your wife. And he trusts God, something that David did at his best, but failed to do at his worst. He trusts God and takes Mary as his spouse, shelters her when the child is hunted, takes the family into Egypt. That's where he gets the title Savior of the Savior of the world. Then brings them home and raises Jesus as his own child. We're told that when Jesus is in the temple and Mary and Joseph don't know where he is, when they finally find him, Jesus says, don't you know I must be about my father's work? And then he goes home with them, and Scripture says he was obedient to them. And so here again, the maker of the world, having already humbled himself as a little baby, humbles himself again to be obedient to one of his own creation. Joseph then disappears from the story. We don't get to see anything more of him. His role in giving Mary and Jesus a safe beginning and protecting them, guiding and nurturing the young child, that is fulfilled, and he's off the page. You might expect a, the descendant of a great king to have a glorious story. You might expect him to be Aragorn from the Lord of the Rings, to, to rise up and take back the throne. And Joseph plays a far more humble role. It's the role that most of us play in the story of God, the theodrama, the drama written by God in which we have a part to play. Most of us don't get to play the grand king on the stage. We play the servant in the background with maybe one line in the scene. Most of us play small roles in God's great drama, but they're important nonetheless. 
They are the roles carved out for us, meant for us. Roles that only we can play. Roles that we were uniquely made to play. One last thing. We talk about Joseph as being a carpenter. Now, the Greek word is tekton, which technically means builder. So he could have been a stonemason. He could have done any number of things. A tekton also uh, implies uh, one who puts a roof up, one who puts a shelter up. And it's the root of our word protection, to protect. So, on this feast of St. Joseph, the protector, the savior of the savior of the world, we remember the faith that is given to us to guard, to hold, to protect. And we take up our role, our small role, in the great drama of God. Be safe, be well, support one another in prayer, by phone calls or emails, connect with one another in whatever way you can. Do come and check out our Facebook page. Uh, if uh, you get the weekly update, you'll have seen the address. If not, if you go to Facebook and search for St. Alban the Martyr, Glenn Williams, I, I dare say you'll find it. And find ways to continue to be the church, although we are scattered. God bless.